check out this amazing greenhouse I just found on Pinterest. How much does it cost? How long did it take to put together? How many of these gray hairs are because of it? Let's find out. So I'm pretty sure the first thing my wife did was pop on over to the interwebs and she was click clacking around on the Googles and goes, what's the most expensive greenhouse I can buy that my husband will put together for me? And I've got an answer for you. It's right over here. This is the Junior Orangery Greenhouse from Exacto, and this comes all the way from Belgium. So my wife clicked order and they ship it on over and this is what it looks like when it shows up. What the heck, you gotta put it together. It's been a long project in the making. I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, some of you eagle-eyed observers have seen some of this project before. So without further ado, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now I'm not just gonna show you the finished project. You have to watch the whole thing. We gotta start with the dirt. Let's get out some tractors. So we're gonna be placing this greenhouse over in our side yard, which is gonna take advantage of this beautiful view that we have of Padilla Bay. And the talented person that my wife is, she created this little SketchUp model to give a better idea of what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. We wanna add some uh, edging around the sides, maybe a trellis, uh, maybe a fire pit, and we're going to surround it with lavender. The idea is to try to give it some edging and also hopefully keep like the rabbits and deer out of there. We'll see how that works, but I'm going to do some raised garden beds and uh, give you a little bit better idea. Of here's what it's going to look like uh, in place, but let's get moving on some dirt work. Here you'll get the general idea of what this layout is going to look like placed over top of my yard. But the first thing we have to do is remove this layer of sod. You can see this was all grass before. It's middle of summer, so it's not looking like much. Uh, middle of drought last year, so uh, grass was looking pretty bad. But irregardless, still got to remove this first layer gonna get out the dig bucket with the excavator turn on the time lapse and let's get rid of this first layer of sod do me a favor and click like on this video I appreciate all of you for watching I hope you enjoy it let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of Initial pad, got the sod off the top, so now it's time to level it out. Now any chance I get to play with my toys, I will always take advantage of that. So I'm gonna fly a drone around and get a little look of all the work that we just did from up in the air. And this will give you kind of a all the way around view where this pad is going to be. Now one thing that's really hard to tell from this angle is how unlevel this ground is. So we still have a lot of leveling to do and we're going to drop the drone down a little bit to get a little bit better view of that. You still can't quite tell from the drone but hey, 
I'm flying my RC plane, having a good time, and getting some work done in the process. Here's a money saving tip for all you husbands out there. Delete Pinterest from your wife's phone. Here's a little bit better angle of this, but you want to know what's better than one tractor? It's two tractors. You can never have too many tractors. So my good friend Jesse is over here helping me running the excavator like a pro instead of a hack like me while I feed him some dirt with my skid steer and you can really tell from this angle just how unlevel this was. We're gonna bring in a lot of dirt to make this level. We've got the laser out. Uh, Z is in the background, just uh, taking a little nap, uh, inspecting our work, making sure that we're doing a good job. And we're gonna make this thing level, give it a good base to sit on, and look really nice when we're all said and done. You can see how skilled Jesse is with the little excavator. He's even picking out little rocks as we go, which I appreciate. To the keen observer, you'll even see that as I'm bringing dirt in, he's picking up little rocks and putting them in my bucket as I leave to remove them. So we're being super efficient over here bunch of men playing with tractors you never grow up uh you still play with tonka trucks they're just full size now if we switch to a little bit more close-up view you can see the amount of dirt that we brought in here and while the excavator can do an okay job of grading this out what we really need is the skid steer and we're going to do the final bit of grading with that we're gonna back blade with the bucket and I'm gonna give myself some kudos because I am flying the drone while also running the skid steer I'm probably not doing that great of a job with either one but hey the fact that I'm doing both at the same time is pretty impressive in my book so here's uh, the last little segment of dirt work prep video is getting this little bit smoothed out getting ready for the next step, which I'll save until next episode. Stage one complete, nice and level. Z approves. So why not bust out my favorite toy again, my old drone and fly it around for a little flyover of all the work that we just did. This was about a weekend worth of work. I also had some help from friends, which I appreciate. There is a lot more to get done. I appreciate you watching this far. I hope that you follow along for the entire build. And until next time, thank you.